Hi, this is Lee the Lab's Apothecary, and I'm doing an update about the supplements that I take. Some of the main supplements that I really like are uh, my coconut kefir. These are my little critters under there, and I put coconut water in here, and it's uh, super probiotic. It smells a little funny right now, so I should drink some of that. <laughs> That's uh, one of the main things I do, as well as fermented vegetables. This is a bunch of basically sauerkraut, some beets, and red cabbage, uh, and red onions, and I put this in salads or along with any food, it helps you digest it. Good for the gut, along with a lot of different assimilating your nutrients and foods. Um, okay, I take my hydrolyzed collagen that I love, this Great Lakes gelatin company, because it dissolves totally uh, in any liquid. A lot of my um, clients take this. It's good for your joints and your skin. It's good for healing your organs and it's amazing anti-aging. It's kosher and there it's a free range company. So a lot of my clients put it in their coffee. Um, a lot of um, paleo diet people like this company and they put it in their coffee. I like to just put it in water or lemon water because vitamin C helps you assimilate it um, in the morning and at night. I take like a tablespoon, I just dump some in. And I've added a little bit of uh, um, charcoal, activated charcoal in there. So it's a little dark, I wouldn't put it in my coffee, so that activated charcoal helps pull toxins out of your system as it goes through your gut. That's another one. Another one that I'm really into is concentrates trace mineral drops that um, I put, I have a little bottle of this and I, and I put it in a few drops in my water bottle as I go throughout the day. Um, you can, it has a lot of magnesium in it, um, so you would want to go slowly with this is what they recommend, 40 drops a day, but you don't want to do that right off the bat because you'll have the shits. So you take just a few drops and build up, um, but that really helps and a lot of people I know that I've turned on to that, they feel a mental clarity um, or our food supply and water is very depleted of minerals. And that's that. Let's see, I take um, uh, Survival Shield. I like this company right now, Nascent Iodine. Um, I take a few drops of that in the morning and sometimes in, in the afternoon, they recommend. Just a few drops of the tongue. I take mine this uh, afternoon. They have another brand, Fluoride Shield. Another, uh, this I just with my recent order helps shield you from fluoride in our water supply although what we do if you apparently if you let um, your water what we do is we uh, fil clear uh, we filter our water and then we put it in a jug like this and just let it sit for 12 hours and then the chlorine evaporates even with just a little space right here and then we put it through our Berkey so that's another thing we do to help clean your water supply. Let's see what else. I take diatomaceous earth occasionally. I put that, I drink, drink some of that in the morning as well. I just put it in a little jar. This is very, um, has a lot of silica in it. If you want to get food grade, some people are commenting, oh, you can get it cheap here and there, but you want to get food grade because there's some you can get for gardening, etc., that are that's too coarse and weird to take internally and as a more recently I've been doing the the um, liposomal and uh, somebody said that the la the granulated lipo uh, lecithin that you use to make um, liposomal vitamins was uh, hexane extracted from um, from the company Swanson vitamins so I got I made sure that this one was not that this is Expeller Press, this is a nice brand, and it's liquid, so it, it dissolves a little bit easier in water. I have videos on this as well. And I've been taking glutathione, reduced. Bulk supplements is where I've been getting a lot of my vitamins lately. Um, I like them better. They seem to be higher quality, and you get a lot of them. I get them from Amazon Prime um, versus Swanson's. Then curcumin, 95% turmeric, I put that in my liposomals as well, um, and vitamin C. I, I get a, sorry, a 
ascorbic acid. Apparently, you should separate the ascorbic acid and the glutathione. So lately I've just been separating them and sort of cycling them through. Like last time I made of uh, curcumin and vitamin C liposomal. And I make the glutathione glutathione or glutathione. I don't know. I call it glutathione. I think it's glutathione. I don't care. Either one works for me. MSM powder. Again, I bought a bunch of this and I really liked it. It tastes more potent um, from the bulk supplements brand. And I just put this in a jar um, by my workspace and I'll eat some throughout the day. I'll take a few tablespoons. And that is a great skin and beauty uh, and joints supplement as well if you don't want to take the hydrolyzed collagen. I take both. This is not, this comes from cows. This is like ground up joints and the like from cows. They're free range. It's kosher. Um, let's see, then I take my spirulina from Star West Organic. Um, you want to get organic. This is where I put in my green smoothies. I have a video about that as well. And then I, I, I have a jar of herbal herbs, basically adaptogens, um, that I mixed up and I make tea out of this occasionally, especially if it's still under the weather. I get this from an Indian grocer. You might want to get a more pure brand because um, it's from India. But these are all internal. This neem powder. Neem is very antiviral. It's, 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 it's uh, got a lot of different antibacterial antiviral properties. Amla powder. That's a very has a lot of vitamin C. It's a very good antioxidant um, herb. What else? Ashwagandha. That's one in the last video. That's a good adaptogen. It's like the Indian ginseng. It's kind of a big deal. Brahmi, oops, this one's backwards. Brahmi, um, this is a good brain herb. Brahmi powder, also called bacoba. I thought Dr. Oz has a video about that. It's all the rays. All... Oh, yeah, another Brahmi. I don't know if I have any Shakavari left. That's an herb, a female herb. I'm out. I don't have that one to show you. Shatavari. That's a, I think I have pills of that somewhere, but that's a good female tonic. Another female tonic that, um, and good for your stomach, that I have just started is Slippery Elm. This bulks up a lot, kind of like a um, psyllium seed. So sometimes I take that towards the end of my cycle in water. You don't want to mix it up with stuff that doesn't taste it's gross. It bulks up in a funny texture, but that's that's a good one. Um, is that it? That's all. So the, the main ones that I've been into lately are this Trace Minerals. is like a multivitamin. I think it feels good, and everybody that I've turned on to it really likes how it's make them feel, they feel more energized physically and they feel more clear mentally. I'm sure it's related to how depleted they are. So, I'm not an expert, by the way. I just wanted to clarify that. I'm just an enthusiast. I like, um, I, I enjoy researching these, these supplements and I take them and anybody I've told about them enjoy the effects. But, you know, do your own research and, um, and uh, take it with a grain of salt. Um, that's all the supplements I'm taking lately. There you go. Any other requests, go ahead and let me know.